Yeah, she says, can you tell us about Salatul Awwabin? Now, the term of Salatul Awwabin is widely known to be given to Salatul Adha, Salatul Duha. Salatul Awwabin is well known to be associated with Salatul Duha, which is prayed after the sunrise and 10 minutes until 10 minutes of the Adhan of Dhuhr. This is the time of Salatul Duha. And the best of it is when it is extremely hot. So it's like 15, 20 minutes before the Adhan of Dhuhr. This is Salatul Awwabin. There is another hadith that I think the, 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 the uh, people of the subcontinent use a lot, but it is not authentic. Where it states that Salatul Awwabin is to pray six rak'ahs between Maghrib and Isha. This is not authentic. And if it were to be authentic, we would call people to do it. We always encourage people to whatever gets them closer to Allah. Now you have to know and learn that this is a fact. There isn't any scholar, there isn't any student of knowledge, there isn't any da'i who would hold back anything that would get you closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. This is what we do. So the problem is that when the hadith is not authentic, how would I encourage people to do something the Prophet didn't do, alayhi wasalam? One would say, maybe the Prophet did it. Say, if the Prophet did it, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, it would have been part of our religion and it would have reached us through authentic hadith. Because it did not reach us through authentic hadith, this clearly means that this is not part of the religion and hence we should not practice it. There are tons and tons of good things that you as an individual can do, can perform, can offer to Allah Azza wa Jal. That is authentic. That is accepted by Allah. So why choose something that is not? And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.